Hello everyone, welcome back to the Guitar Club. My name is Diego and today I'm going to show you how to play this great song by Slipknot, Vermilion Part 2. We're not going to play with Slipknot uh, tuning, which I think is a uh, drop B or something like that, but we're going to do it on E standard. So if you don't want to change the tune on your guitar, I'm going to show you how I play it. Let's do it. Okay, for the first part of the song, we got a couple of chords. It's a G minor on our fourth fret, bar chord, and our second chord is going to be a uh, B7, uh, B7, it's a B major, or now we're 7th fret. So you can do it like a bar chord, or just lift the, the bar like this and just and press the 6th, 5th, 4th, and 3rd string. And when you pick, you're gonna play only those strings. Uh, first, I'm gonna play it and then gonna break it down. Picking pattern, a strumming pattern, I'm doing mainly downstrokes and then I count it this way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. I'm not strumming the whole chord, I just mainly strumming the the E, the A, and the D, uh, the lower strings. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But in, in between I got a little lick, I'm gonna bring this pinky to the A string sixth fret and play it this way. That will go with the vocal line. So when you count it, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna do it one more time, a little bit slower. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. When I bring my pinky here on the A string, sixth fret, I'm also playing the top, so I play those two. It's like a power chord. And then I'm gonna go on the B. Uh, like a power chord as well, don't, don't forget to include this finger on the G string on your A fret, like a major chord. Same picking pattern. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Then you, when you play that one, you slide from the seventh fret to the sixth. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That one goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. When I'm sliding the finger, I don't pick, uh, I don't strum actually. And then I repeat it same thing four times going to slow it down See on the one, it's gotta be a bit more of push. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So that one has to be more of attack. To finish that that part of the verse, you're gonna go on a A major. slide back to the B. So the strumming I'm doing um, in that section. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And when I go on the last one, I hit down and slide to the B and carry on doing the previous strumming. So coming from the from the B.
And before going to the uh, next verse, you hang on that beat, you play it a little bit longer. Following that strumming pattern that I just did, it's also a little bit more free, so you can listen to the original song and just work it out your way. But if you play downstrokes as I'm doing, it kind of works. Uh, I'm gonna do the A one more time. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, a slide. That is for our verse. Awesome. For our chorus, we got four chords, all of them bar chords. So if you're practicing bar chords, this is a great song for you. Um, it's a G, G major on the third fret, F sharp major. If you don't know, don't know the shape, this one goes on the G string, A and D bar chord. Then you're gonna go on the B, B minor, and the next chord is gonna be a D. But I normally play it like a D seventh. So I bring the pinky to the 5th fret A string and that's going to be my D7 so first chord is a G second chord is going to be an F sharp major B minor from the 5th string and uh, holding this shape you're going to bring the, your 4th finger here to the D and that's a D7 the picking pattern that I'm using I'm just playing down and hitting the B string, the G, and the B again. Down, up, down. Up on the B, down on the G, and up on the B. Second string, third, and second. Same thing here. Same picking pattern in all the chords. Slower. time so that you repeat it four times if that picking pattern is too difficult you can also strum something like this what am I doing here down down up down 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 up down 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 up down and then the D down down up down one more time. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. That's the, the strumming pattern for the chorus if you want to strum in that section. Once you play it four times, you go like this. section before the bridge right after the, the chorus you got that part with some violins in the background beautiful so go from here G from that B I'm gonna mainly play power chords so like it's gonna be the fifth string your fourth and your third so I'm playing is a B gonna go to a C sharp fourth fret and a D Two, four, three, and go to the G major later. Always a simple uh, strumming pattern. If I slow it down, A again, G, F sharp, and back to the B. So all that section together, right after the the, the chorus. A again, G. Right after the chorus, we got the bridge that starts with the E minor. It goes like this. And 
them back to the chorus. Um, it's not that difficult. It kind of follows the same strumming pattern that we tried to do before. So if you, if in the chorus you didn't play with the picking and you were doing this strumming version, uh, same strumming pattern from the E minor. Down, down, up, down. One round of that. B minor, two rounds. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. G, bar chord. F sharp. Back to the B. Two times. G, F sharp. And that's the last chord of the bridge, and then follows by a G, which uh, it connects with, uh, with the chorus. Let's break it down, play a bit slower. Um, if you come from the, from the previous section, it finishes on the B. That's the way it sounds like. Sorry, I made a mistake. So if you come from the B, from the previous section, again, G, F sharp, B minor, twice. right after you got the chorus that you can just get back to, um, like this now if I'm not wrong they play it again four times um, either picking with a BGB or carry on strumming like this like this this is the chorus that is the bridge connected with the chorus and finally the last part of the song is the same thing as the verse so going back to the G minor four times The way that I finish that one, I go back to the G minor and play down, down, make the power chord here, putting this finger, the pinky on the D, and back to the G minor. So one, two, three, four. That covers all the sections in the song. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments. If you got any requests for any other song, also write it down and I'll have a look. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.